please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon are you ready for the next sum children so here is your next sum okay the next sum states which of the following which of the following is equivalent to 61 days okay and your options are a 7 weeks and 5 days option b 8 weeks and 5 days option c 6 weeks and 1 day option d 8 weeks and 1 day okay so now since the answers are given in weeks we need to convert the 61 days or vice versa okay so we can convert this into weeks and then we can find the answers okay so now 61 days so we know that one month is equal to 30 days right and we also know that four weeks is equal to one month right so now they are asking us to calculate 61 days so 61 days means how much children just try to calculate here 61 divided by 30 because we are assuming that one month has got 30 days so if you divide it 6 into 2 3 into 2 is 6 so which means that there is two month and one day okay we know that one week uh, one month has got four weeks right so now when we calculate this 61 days can be written as 2 month and 1 day okay so we can write this as 2 month and 1 day now we also know that four sorry one month is equals to four weeks right so therefore two months should be equal to four into two right which is equal to 8 weeks right so now we have got 61 days so now if we calculate 28 days 4 weeks in a week we have got 7 days right so one week is equals to 7 days so therefore 8 week will be how much 7 into 8 56 days fine now how many days do i have to calculate i need to calculate 61 days i have got 8 weeks as 56 days so 57 58 59 60 and 61 so which means that my answer will be 8 weeks plus 5 days so 8 weeks will make it up to 56 Plus five, which will makes to sixty-one. So, did you understand the working children? First, we need to convert this into weeks and days. So, the sixty-one days we have tentatively taken as thirty days. One month equals to thirty days. So, which gives us of this thing that we have got two months. Okay. So now 
you need to do the remaining calculation. We know that one week has got seven days, right? So, how many weeks? Because two months will be having eight weeks. So, one week if it has got seven days, so eight weeks will equal to how much? So, 56 days plus the balance of five. So, it makes 56 weeks and five. 56 days plus five days is 61 days, which is nothing but eight weeks and five days. Where can you find this option? Option C. Okay, are you clear? It was little tricky because as I told you that in this chapter, we will be focusing on the conversions as well. Clear? Shall we do the next question? So, here is your next question. The next question states, Chitra is 15 years, 4 months, old. Okay. Her sister is 4 years, 10 months younger than her. Okay. How old is her sister. Fine. The options are 10 years, 6 months. Option B, 10 years, 10 months. Option C, 4 years, 10 months. And option D, 10 years, 4 months. Okay. So, again it is a question of conversion. Chitra is 15 years, 4 months old. Okay. And her sister is 4 years and 10 months younger than her. So, you need to find the exact age of her younger sister. Okay. So, we know that 1 year is equal to 12 months. Right? So, now therefore, 15 years will be equal to how many months? So, 15 into 12. So, we will multiply and see here. 12 into 5 is 66. 12 ones are 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So, which means that 180 plus it gives 15 years and 4 months. Right? So, 180 plus 4 is equal to 184 months. Okay. Next, her sister is, now this is the age of Chitra in months. So, 15 years and 4 months means she is 184 months. Now, it says that her sister is 4 years and 10 months younger. So, similarly, we can find 4 years and 10 months will be calculated as 4 into 12 plus 10. Okay. So, 12 fours are 48 plus 10 is equal to 58 months. So, therefore, age of sister will be equals to 184 minus 58. So, 14 minus 8 is 6. 7 minus 5 is 2. 1. 126 months. Okay. So, the age of sister in months is 126. Okay. So, now we need to convert it in years. So, what we will do? We will divide it by 12. Okay. So, now 126 divided by 12. So, 12 into 10 is 120 and balance is 6, which is nothing but 
126 months is equal to 10 years and 6 months. Where can you find this option children? Option A. Okay. So, did you understand this question? First, this years and months combination, we are converting it in months and then after finding both, we will do the difference and whatever is the difference amount, we will be dividing it by 12 in order to find out the age in years. Is it clear? So, the previous question as well as in this question, we are just implying the formula which we have learned before. Shall we move to the next one?